there are some completely, completely ridiculous, amazing projects within the Cosmos ecosystem. And in this video, we're going to be finding out about one of those projects. This is a much anti anticipated interview, at least for me, because this allows you to earn lots and lots of crypto and then earn even more on top of that. NordVPN is becoming more than just a VPN. Threat protection will guard your device against malicious websites, malware, trackers, and intrusive ads, even if you're not connected to a VPN server at the time. Step up your cybersecurity and stay safe. Ready to hop in the 6 and cruise around the blocks? There's a storm coming to the underworld and the heat is on. Take over the blocks and call the shots. It's time to hustle or get hustled. What's it gonna be? Stay sharp. It's a dog eat dog world out there. Don't let them catch you slipping. Only real gangsters thrive in the. There are some completely, completely ridiculous, amazing projects within the Cosmos ecosystem. And in this video, we're gonna be finding out about one of those projects. This is a much anti anticipated interview, at least for me, because this allows you to earn lots and lots of crypto, and then earn even more on top of that. Hi, everybody. This is Crypto Rich, working with you to get rich with crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits. Now, before I introduce my guest and we talk about the project, what must you do? You must subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, please come over to bit.ly slash Crypto Rich Odyssey, because I am shadow banned and censored on YouTube. I want to grow my channel on Odyssey, which is a censorship resistant platform. Please also follow me on Twitter, Crypto Rich YT, and join my official Telegram announcements channel. And if you Subscribe to me on Odyssey. You get bonus videos that I didn't post on YouTube because of the censorship on YouTube. All right. Hey, Vishal, thank you so much for making yourself available. You are the founder, co-founder, lead something at stride.zone. Yes? Yeah, exactly. I'm one of the co-founders. Uh, me, Agent Riley, all the three of us uh, kind of know each other for the last few years. We're in crypto. And earlier this year, we decided to make strides. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, stride is part of the Cosmos ecosystem. and yeah. The thing that I like about Cosmos, just for people who know, by the way, this is a this is a video about crypto, if you haven't gathered already, not my politics one or anything, right? And in particular, this is a video that's about the Cosmos ecosystem. I do loads of videos about projects in the Cosmos ecosystem because I've done very, very well with Cosmos, Atom, and Osmo, and Juno, and those related projects. So um, Stride, the, the thing that, that I love about the Cosmos ecosystem is there's separate blockchains, independent, that they can communicate with each other, proof of stake with usually in the beginning, very high staking rewards, which then gradually, gradually go down over time. Very secure, very robust, very fast, very low fees, and just growing like crazy. Anything I've missed out? No, that, that, that's exactly it. But even more than fast and growing a lot, it gives you way more flexibility on the applications. You know, Because when you deploy an application on ETH, on a smart contract, you're kind of really limited what you can do. In Cosmos, you kind of the world's your oyster. You, know, you have the full blockchain is up to you to decide. I think we're starting to see some really cool applications. Sorry, getting on that. Yes, yes. And Atom, Atom is, I suppose, the mother of the whole thing. It's the toke, it's the coin for the Cosmos ecosystem. And then uh, there's Osmo and Osmosis and everything. By the way, I've done this. I'm doing a series of videos on how to make money using the Osmosis decks and all the DeFi applications within that. So make sure you subscribe and um, so you watch those videos because I've done very, very well. It's very, very good. And stride.zone, ticker symbol STRD, is a fairly new project within the Cosmos ecosystem. Do you, do you want to say a bit what Stride does and how come and why? Yeah, I, I, absolutely. So we've I've been a project for about three months. We launched a store report uh, 2022. Uh, what we do is liquid stake in Cosmos. Now that, let's unpack that a little bit because I know, you know it's, uh, it, it's a lot, lot of new terms. So when you think about like a proof of stake uh, token, uh, what you can do with like Atom or Osmo or any of these proof of stake tokens is you can go stake them the blockchain. And what you do when you're staking is you basically provide security to the chain. So you go find your favorite validator, like you go find Strangelove, for example. You delegate to them. And then you uh, what they'll do is they'll run some computations on your behalf that makes the chain safe. Uh, but all, all we really care about is, you know, I get my tokens and I get some reward every block. So for Atom, it's like 20% a year. For Evmo, it's like 100%. And it's really attractive. You got to both support the project and earn yield. 
But the kind of annoying thing is when you are staking, you can't do anything with your tokens. They're kind of delegated to the validator. But if I want to go take out a loan, I can go deposit my stake assets uh, in like a money market, for example, to borrow money out. If I want to go trade, let's say a perp market, I want to go buy or sell. I can't put my stake out on this collateral. So I can imagine I have $100 of stake out and I should be able to go trade for like $50 on the side. And if I lose that, they can take it from the staked asset. That's not really possible now. But when you have what Stride does is React is kind of intermediary between you and the validator. And what that lets you do is we can give you a, a token, uh, like ST Atom, that is just a regular token. You can IBC it wherever you can IBC your item. You can go put it in Osmosis. You can go take, uh, take it to UMI. You can go take it to Evmos, you know, wherever, wherever you just you like. Um, and as long as you're holding that token, that ST Atom, you're earning that 20% Atom yield in the background continuously just by holding it. But then when you're, because it's a token, you can now go put that token into a DEX. You can go put it into a money market and take a loan out against it. You can go deposit it into like Injective and eventually trade against it. And so it lets you basically tokenize your staked assets. Right. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that back to you to make sure I've got it. And, and just so yeah. you know, Michelle, I have liquid staked um, Osmo. That's amazing. Stride dot zone. And I still don't understand it, right? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What well, I'm doing here. And, and then is there more I should be doing? So so someone, anybody who's watching this has now watched my videos on how to install a Kepler wallet and watched the video on an overview of the Osmos ecosystem. So they got a Kepler wallet and then they've bought some Osmo. And now what they're doing with the Osmo is if I just stake it through Kepler or my ledger then I'm just getting the rewards just for staking Osmo. And like you said, there's nothing else. That's it. It's just passive. Okay, nice income. And I can compound those rewards or take those rewards and convert them to something else, right? Yeah. But if I go to your application, which and, and the website is stride.zone, I'll have all the links in the description below. I then stake or lock the Osmo into through your app. Mm -hmm. And then I'm still getting the, the Osmo rewards. At whatever the rate is, so I'm getting the Osmo in my. They'd land it in my Kepler wallet. So yeah, it, it's a good question. So the, the way you get it is the when you get ST Osmo, it's just one to one. Uh, yeah. You know your ST Osmo is worth something, but then every day when you go to Stride, you can go redeem that ST Osmo for Osmo, and the amount that you can redeem it for goes up every day based on the staking yield. So in one year, you could redeem that one ST Osmo for something like. I know, like whatever this Osmo yield is right now, 1.25 Osmo. And one year after that, you can go redeem it with us for 1.5 Osmo and so on and so on. Um, oh, no, no, hold on. Now you've lost me already, right? Yeah. So I'm staking the Osmo through your app. Yeah. And I'm getting, and now we haven't got to the, I haven't got to the liquid der derivative yet, okay? The ST Osmo. Yeah. Right? I'm just yeah. wondering about the staking rewards through your app. So then yeah. what are the rewards are paid out in ST Osmo or in Osmo? In Osmo. In Osmo. Okay. Yeah. And then are they liquid or do they stay locked in with your application? Yeah. Yeah. So, so the, they're, they're staying in the application and you could get them out with the SG Osmo. But uh, until you have the SG Osmo, everything else kind of stays within the application. You can think of it like we have a pool of Osmo and every block is getting a little bit bigger based on how much, uh, whatever the staking reward is. So it starts out like this in a year, it goes to here, one more year, it goes to here and it keeps getting a little bit bigger over time. Okay, so let's say I put in 100 Osmo, and over time, it's now worth that pool, that's reward mm -hmm. pool. My reward pool is now worth 200 Osmo, for example. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. Yeah. We'll come back to that. and then, So then when I would undelegate it or take it out, I would get, my, I would get 200 Osmo. Exactly. Right? Okay. Exactly. Okay, that's good. Now, meantime, now let's go to the, li the liquid derivative, which is ST Osmo. So I... Mm -hmm. I this is, I don't even know what words to use. I was thinking, so I lock them or I, because they're not with you. You're, they're still in my Kepler wallet. I got the private keys. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for the SGOs. The SGOs totally yours. Yeah, yeah. yeah for the, but I yeah. just give you permission to kind of lock them and add more to it. Right? Well, yes. Yeah, so, so the way it works is you give your Osmo, not, not to me or not to the Stride developers, but to the Stride chain. And so it's basically secured by the validators in the chain. In the same way that, you know, when you go to like UMI and you want to borrow, you give your tokens to the chain. Here, in the same way, you give your Osmo to the chain. And the okay. chain goes and stakes it. But it's not a multi-sig. It's not like a one person or even a smart contract. It's like the entire chain is doing it. 
So all the validators kind of collectively come to consensus. And it's actually, uh, it's a little bit confusing. And the reason is Stride is actually the first application that does this. Um, it's uh, the kind of next iteration of IBC is this really new technology that's a little bit kind of trippy, uh, but it, it, it's really exciting. So when you give your Osmo, the Osmo is, um, is out of your Kepler wallet and goes into the Stride chain. And then the Stride chain goes and moves it to uh, the Osmosis chain so it can go stake it. But what's happening on your end is you get the ST Osmo in your Kepler wallet. It's your own private keys, you know, that's totally your, your tokens. Um, and you can do whatever you want with them. And whenever you want to go undelegate, you just tell Stride, hey, I want to undelegate these. And then we'll start the undelegation. So it's 14 days in Osmosis. And then you get uh, your tokens back plus whatever the reward was. Okay. Okay. Now we'll talk about the security of the chain because that's, I didn't know that. That's quite mind boggling. And I think that mm -hmm. I can already see what the advantages are with, with that. Okay. So, so I've staked it through the, through the, uh, your application. I'm, mm -hmm. And if I stake a hundred, I get a hundred ST Osmo, roughly speaking. It's about that, right? It's one for one. Uh, yeah. yeah so, so it starts off one to one and over time it changes a little bit as the ST Osmo gets more yield. So initially it's one to one. After one month, the ST Osmo is worth like 1% more. So you'll get like 99 Osmo or 99 ST Osmo for 100 uh, Osmo. Okay. So okay. So let's say it's one to one. So I got the ST Osmo. Yeah. Now with the Os ST Osmo, I can deposit that same to the Osmosis Dex. I can convert it to Atom. I can put it in a liquid pool, like for example, ST Osmo Osmo, and then there's no impermanent loss and accumulate rewards yeah. that way. I, and or I can just. Well, I've just got. I can just get more yield as well as the staking rewards. I can go. You know, I can convert it to Evmos, trade it with Evmos, mm -hmm. take the extra Evmos, and then I'm getting the hundred percent off Evmos, or put it in a pool, or whatever. Right? Okay. And then to when I want my, let's say I don't know, a month later, I want my two hundred. It's now two hundred Osmo. Mm -hmm. How do, do I then then have to get two hundred ST Osmo? Or something like that to redeem to get my Osmo to unlock them to unstake them. Yeah. So as long as you're holding the ST Osmo, so if you put into a Dex. Let's say you know, you put the ST Osmo into a Dex, like ST Osmo ST Adam or ST Osmo Osmo. Um, when you put into that Dex, you're earning whatever that Dex yield is. You know, you get some incentives in the Dex as well as the the fees on the Dex. Whenever you kind of withdraw, as long as you're still holding the ST Osmo, that's the token that's going to give you the 200 Osmo. So as long as, long as you're, let's say right now it's uh, let's say. For example, Osmosis yields 100%. I know it's not, but just you know, for simplicity. And you bought 100 ST Osmo now. In one year, as long as you're still holding the ST Osmo, you can go give it to Stride or go sell it. It'll be worth 200 Osmo. Right. Okay. Now, this is the bit where i trying to get my head around. I could take the 100 ST Osmo that I got when I mm -hmm. first staked it, go and liquid pool it and do this and do that. And there's a new project with a... I remember, was it Huawei was a 3,000% staking yeah. rewards or something like initially, yeah. right? Really or crazy. I could use Yieldmos yeah. app, and I've done some videos on Yieldmos app. I think, um, I don't know, is it Rebus or something? It was 20,000% in the beginning. When I think I, Tori was as well, yeah. Or, or maybe it might have been Tori, right? 20,000%. Yeah. And through Yieldmos, I worked it out. It was, uh, I don't know, 75, no, it was one. Point one times ten to the power of seventy-five, something ridiculous. Which is, yeah. which is for those of you who don't know, it's one with seventy-five zeros or something percent. Yeah. Now it did go down real quickly, right? But I'd be happy with that for an hour or so. That would do me really good, right? So then let's yeah. say I now have I don't have the hundred ST Osmo because I've traded it, traded it, traded it, but I've now mm. got the equivalent. Of a thousand ST Osmo, mm -hmm. you know, through all the DeFi stuff that I've done, then yeah. I, and the reward is two hundred Osmo in the mm -hmm. in the pool in my, that I've mm -hmm. got staked. So then I just take two. I just take two hundred of those ST Osmo, and then I get my two hundred Osmo out. Is that right? Roughly. So yeah. Yeah, so you actually, uh, you don't even need, uh, as long as you, if, if it's been one year and you had the 100 ST Osmo to begin with, that's all you need. So it'll just be 100 ST Osmo will be worth 200 Osmo in the future. So one way to think about it is you have ST Osmos worth one, one to one to Osmo now. But in one year, one ST Osmo is going to be worth uh, like 1.25 Osmo. And then so the value of your ST Osmo is going to go up. So as long as you're holding it in a DEX or you're trading it, whatever you're doing, as long as you're holding onto the ST Osmo token, it's going up. That, that, that's, or, that's what I think. or or I could yeah. sell it and then buy 
the hundred STOs mode yeah. again, and then yeah, yeah. So if you sell it and buy it, that also works. But the value of it is going to go up after you. Like if you sell it and buy it back, uh, yeah. the STOs mode gets more. more expensive every day. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's a little <laughs> mind-boggling. What? No, I understand Bitcoin. I understand DeFi applications. What is this? What is this? I mean, like, yeah. oh my god, Rochelle. Yeah. Okay, so where no, does it, 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 it's really crazy? Yeah, <laughs> where does the value of it come from? How does it grow? Why does it grow? It makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's it's pretty much guaranteed to grow over time, and the reason is all that's happening is it's uh the ST Osmo, all the Osmo that's behind it. Is put into this pool. They think of it like you know, my this pool is the Osmo, and because it's every six hours, the stride chain, uh, the stride chain takes all the interest that's ha- occurred over the last six hours and goes and reinvest that back into this pot. So this pot of Osmo keeps growing and growing and growing over time, but the amount of ST Osmo is not growing. It's just it, when you when you first give the ST, uh, your Osmo to stride, you get some ST Osmo out, but this is like fixed, you know, like this is the ST Osmo is not growing because you're you know you're not minting anymore. But the pile of Osmo keeps growing over time. And so the ST Osmo is worth, you know, let's say there's 100 ST Osmo. Each ST Osmo is going to be worth 1% of this big pot. And because this pot of Osmo is growing, because it's just being saved and, and recompounded, uh, that's how you know the ST Osmo gets more valuable throughout time. Okay. So then why shouldn't I, apart from the fact, well, I've got to consider the risk, right? Because I have a fair number of Osmo. I've been with this project from the beginning and it's done me very, very well, right? But I could convert everything, everything to Osmo and then stake it with you Mm -hmm. through your application, have a whole load of ST Osmo and go and do all kinds of mischief and everything with the liquidity pools. But Mm -hmm. if I lose my ST Osmo, I don't get my Osmo back. Exactly. Once you sell your ST Osmo, you no longer get the staking rewards. Exactly. Right, right. Okay. Or or what right. could happen is I could, the ST Osmo, I could, I don't know, put it in a pool with some with a project that goes to nothing or, you know, just doesn't do very exactly. well. Right. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. So exactly. That's the well, like one thing you life. could do. Yeah. Right. But one thing you could do, for example, if you have like, a, you know, they have Osmo Atom AMMs, uh, we might see pretty soon uh, ST Osmo ST Atom AMM. And when you do that, you know, you're, you're in that pool. I know, I know. It's, it's <laughs> totally wild. But you're still owning your token, and then whenever you want to pull out that pool, you've earned the staking reward. But then you've also earned the kind of AMM. It, it's it's uh, we're, we're not quite there yet, but it's you know something that's you can insane. imagine happening. That's yeah, insane. so you're earning the insane. yield, the staking yield, and the AMM yield. You're earning both. Exactly. Okay. Because because I consider Atom and Osmo as you know two of the most secure, stable projects within the Cosmos ecosystem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then and then I've still got them, and then they're just going to grow over time as long as crypto doesn't collapse completely, because there's always that risk, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, through staking through you, mm-hmm. well, what 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 are the chances of a rug pull, or you disappear, or or the your code gets hacked, or something? Yeah. So this is a great question. Uh, so the first thing, rug pull, you actually don't have to trust us at all. Like, there's no need to look at. Uh, like, because uh, uh, all of our chain code is open source. So you can go look at the stride code and you don't have to just trust us. We've, we've had three audits right now. So there are three different auditors informal, uh, Oak Security, and Certic. But then also we have all lots of validators in our chain look at our code. So there, it's, uh, you know, you can easily verify that you don't need to trust the team. There's nothing from the team that could take your tokens because everything's on the on chain. It's the same way that like Cosmos. Right. And the same way that yeah. like Cosmos' team can't take your tokens from the AMM, we can't take your tokens from, from the staking pool. But there is definitely still risk, like all, all technology. And so the, the two kind of big, uh, or yeah, the, the biggest source of risk basically is hacking risk. So could something happen where, or maybe two sources of risk. One is we could have a bug. So maybe there's a bug that us and our auditors uh, didn't catch. Totally, totally possible. Um, all software, you know, ha- has bugs. And then the other possibility is we get hacked. Um, so both of those are things that could happen that would make the tokens become worth a little bit less. But so we're really kind of aware of this and we're doing a lot to kind of make this not possible. So just a couple of things we do. We have uh, some checks that we run on the stride chain every single block. And what we do is we try to uh, check, hey, do we think we're under attack? And when we check that is we have some like core variables that we look at. And if any of those variables look weird or move by too much, the chain says, hey, either there's a bug or I'm under attack. Let's just stop everything for a little bit. So what we do is we, we pause any minting of new SGLs now, and we kind of just halt everything for a little bit. 
And that, that way we can come in and check, hey, was there an attack? Was there a bug? Would stop any losses if so. This hasn't happened yet, but it's just kind of a fail safe in case uh, there is an attack. And we also have some other things that we're trying to do to make it a little bit easier to make sure tokens never get lost. What one one thing that is kind of helpful though about us is even if for whatever reason the stride chain got fully compromised, because all of the Osmo is staked, you have to at least wait 14 days for it to get unbonded. And in those 14 days, we could come in, we could try to fix whatever bug happened. We could talk to the Osmosis team, do a gov vote on Osmosis, to keep the funds from being lost. So we have that kind of buffer there. But there's still this is the kind of the biggest risk yeah. is could we yeah, have a bug? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. There's there's always risk in life. You know, even if even if what you've got yeah. is gold, right? There's risk with gold. All sorts of things could happen with gold. Yeah. <laughs> you could lose it. Absolutely. Oh God, <laughs> right? Or a yeah. extreme risk, a nuclear strike, and then gold gone. <laughs> gold <Yeah>. gone. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Now, um, the chain, you said it's the whole chain. That to me sounds like it's really, really secure when you're bundling up the whole chain. Yeah, so it's in the same way that like Adam or Osmo, the way to attack it is you have to get two thirds of the validators to basically be uh, compromised. And it's, it's possible, but it, it's very rare. You know, it's like a two thirds attack and uh, it falls in front of any chain, but we're, making, we're working hard to kind of make sure it doesn't occur. So we also have some alerting on our, our end to say, hey, how much of the validation has shifted over the last week? To say, hey, is someone trying to run an attack? We check these things. But it's generally pretty hard. In the same way that's hard to attack, like, Stargaze, it's also pretty hard to attack stride as well. Right. Okay. Okay, good. Now there's two other aspects about your project that that I think one is definitely more lucrative, another lucrative opportunity connected to stride, and we'll come to that. Um, which is how people can get stride and how I got some stride, right? But but why you got your own to token, STRD. Why do I need it? If I I just got Osmo, I can put the Osmo in the uh, stake it through you and then i got st osmo what do i need stride for yeah so it, it's a great question and, and so we'll let's back up for a little bit and just talk about like, like how to stride kind of the, the chain like well, how does it make money and so what happens is let's say you have osmo and it's 25 percent yield um what stride does is it auto compounds that osmo every six hours so we take uh your yield every six hours and we put it back in the same way yield most kind of auto compounds we also auto compound automatically on the chain and so that 25% gets a little bit higher, like 27% or something. But what we also do is we also take a small fee every every uh, six hours. So we take 10% of the interest. And so what ends up happening for osmosis is instead of getting 25%, you get like 24.9 or something. I had to calculate it. You lose a little bit of interest. And in return, you're able to kind of you know sell out of your staked assets. You can go trade them. You can do whatever you want with your ST Osmo. And we take the small fee out of the interest. Then what, what's happening is the stride tokens, if you stake them, they actually will receive that interest. Uh, this was kind of uh, a vote on Stride that happened three weeks ago, but it's uh, we had still to implement this. But what's going to happen next month or two is all this interest that uh, are all of the rewards that the Stride chain gets are going to get paid out to the Stride stakers. So if you have like let's say for example in uh, in the next bull market, Stride has a billion dollars of TBL, just round numbers. They'll get it something like twenty five million dollars a year in kind of rewards. And if you're a Stride staker, you get all those rewards. So if there's, you know, like a, let's say there's a million stride being staked, each stride would get $25 then that year from, from that revenue. Right. Okay. And, and that's just, say you said Osmo. So I'm getting the fee, a little bit of the fees from the compounding of the Osmo. Yeah. Table, because I'm staking stride. But then you've also got a Stargaze chain and you've also yeah. got Atom chain. And I think, is it Juno? And Juno, yeah. And then we have a few more coming up. You know, I don't want to give anything away, but sure. we're looking at some of the other big projects. And in the next couple of weeks, you might see some uh, some more, you know, you know we're on an ongoing basis. The goal is in one year, we want to get every single chain. Okay. Well, let's just let's just talk about those four that you do have, right? So let's say I've got 100 yeah. Stride. So then I'm getting rewards from each of those four chains from the fees that Stride is collecting from auto compounding. Mm -hmm. And those rewards, are they in Stride or are they in... Juno, Osmo, no. and Stars. Yes, they're actually in all of those tokens. So you'll get them directly in your Juno, your Atom, Stars. This doesn't happen right now, but in the next couple of months, this should be live. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then they would be on the Stride chain in my, say, exactly. in my Kepler wallet. So, I, okay. So they wouldn't exactly. land and say on the Stride blockchain, on the Stars blockchain or the Juno blockchain. I'd see yeah. them on the, in the Stride section of the Kepler wallet. 
Exactly. But we, what we'll do on our website is we'll have a kind of withdraw button that then you can go withdraw them to their chain. So you hit withdraw and then it'll go, the item will go to the item chain, the Juno will go to the Juno chain and you know, so on and so on. And I could then stake them through you, get ST Juno, ST Stars, yeah. ST Atom and more ST Osmo. <laughs> yeah, if you okay. wanted to, absolutely. Okay, okay. This, this sounds a little Ponzi-like. It makes no sense because I'm just getting more and more rewards and more and more rewards. Yeah. Where is all this coming from? Yeah. So it, well, this is so uh, this is all coming from inflation. So you have like Juno, Osmo, etc. Let's take Osmosis. It has like 25% inflation per year, and it's just to secure the chain. And what we're allowing you to do is when you stake or with, with the stride chain, the service that's giving people is hey, normally when you go stake. Your money is kind of locked up. You can't do anything with it. We let you go take, trade it around. You can now go sell it if you want. You can go borrow against it, whatever you want. And in return for that service, the Stride chain charges a little fee. Um, and then what you're collecting here is just the, that, that fee. And what it's really coming from here is inflation. So we're getting a portion of the inflation on osmosis, on, on Atom, et cetera. But imagine in the future, let's say DYDX, for example, comes in. DYDX's uh, inflation might not be inflation. It might be revenue. They might earn revenue and pay that to their own stakers. Uh, in that case, if you hold uh, STDYDX, if we had STDYDX, the, uh, the stride chain would get their revenue too. So really, we're just charging a fee on um, uh, to the other chains, and they, however, they pay their stakers. We get it in the same way. So if it's inflation, we get the fee for inflation. But if they're paying revenue, we get it on the revenue as well. Okay. I'm just that's just sinking in, just letting it sink in. It's like okay, and then the point that you made about inflation, of course, and for people who don't know, why this is not a Ponzi, is there's no referral, there's no referral link, there are no layers, and what Vishal is talking about the inflation rate. So each of these proof of stake projects has a natural emission rate, just like Bitcoin has an emission rate as a proof of work coin. Proof of stake projects have an emission rate, and the emission rate gradually over time goes down, and it varies from project to project. And it's that emission rate that constitutes the rewards that people get. Okay. Now, if I just stake stride, I, I'm not currently getting any interest just for staking stride. Like uh, staking. So you, you get, yeah. You get the stride reward, but you don't get the Adam, Juno, et cetera. We're still building that right now. Still building yeah. that. And what, what, when? <laughs> when? When? Yeah, yeah. When those Lambo rewards from those other projects? <laughs> Shouldn't yeah, I think in like one to two months, probably. But what's actually happening right now, we're still getting the rewards and they're just kind of sitting there. Whenever this feature gets turned on, everything that's sitting there will probably just get distributed out. Okay. And then once it starts, is it ongoing? Like automatically? Exactly. It's every time? six like, hours. Like Atom or Osmo? Or Atom's moment by moment. Osmo's every 24 hours. How would yeah do it? So we, we the Stride protocol, every six hours, takes whatever okay. interest is on that chain and gives it out. So for Osmo, we check every six hours, but it only happened every 24 hours. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not complaining. Okay. <laughs> now, the other aspect that, that's lucrative, lucrative. And mm -hmm. if, you're not, if you're new to crypto or you're new to the Osmo projects, Osmo Cosmos projects, this may be like another out there idea, right? That doesn't fit the conventional money paradigm. Airdrops. So I have stride. I mean, I've purchased some Stride, but I also got Airdrop Stride because I was staking Osmo and Atom and Juno and this one and that one. So you do Airdrops. You just did, you just did an Osmo Airdrop. Uh, stride. We actually did five, five Airdrops in one, actually. Yeah, we did Osmo, Atom, Juno, Stars, as well as a test net. Yeah. Right. No, but, but the most recent one I meant was the Osmo one. Yeah, they're actually, they're all at once. They, they all occurred at the same time. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, well, I, I've got those. I didn't have the test net, but I got Juno and Atom and Osmo and I got a little bit of stars. So I got some stride and you're going to have more airdrops coming mm -hmm. at some point for the other projects. So why are you doing airdrops and where are those stride coming from? And what yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there's 100 million stride total, um, you know, in, 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 all, in all, all time, there'll never be more than 100 million stride. It's at the max supply on the chain. And what we, we do is we want to basically in the first year give out uh, like the majority of the tokens to make it community driven. We don't want the insiders, we don't want the team investors to have too much say. So what we're doing is every time we onboard a new chain, we're giving them airdrop tokens. That way we help, one, we tell the project about Stride. So if we have a project like Evmos, everyone who takes Evmos now learns a lot about Stride. They're like, oh, what is this new project? Um, it also helps us kind of distribute the token out to make it more decentralized, build the community. Um, 
And then it also, the other thing we're doing is we're basically giving out a bunch of stride to people who use the product in the first year. So if you mint stride you, or mint ST tokens, you'll get a little bit of stride. If you go into the osmosis AMMs, you'll get a little bit of stride. And we're basically, the goal is to give it out in a healthy way so that a year down the line, the project is community owned, community run, et cetera. Okay. Okay. And then each project or each airdrop will have a different set of rules about yeah. how much you need to have. I mean, is there they're any all stuff? roughly the same. Yeah. Yeah. It's all roughly, it depends a little bit per, per zone, but roughly it's like between, I think 50 USD and 50,000 USD. That's like the, the window. So as long as you have 50 USD stake, you'll be eligible. And if you have up to, I, th- I think it's on the website, but I think it's 50,000, maybe 10,000 is the upper limit. Beyond that, you're not going to get any extra points. And so uh, within that, it's just kind of scaled. So if you have $100, you'll okay. get like one stride maybe. And if you have $200, you'll get two stride and so on. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. And then and then let's say the, the, the next airdrop, whatever it is, I don't want to say the name because people might think, oh, it's that one. Who knows, right? Unless it's public right now. Right, whichever one is going to be. Yeah, we've been teasing it, but we haven't officially said. But you know, there, there are some good kind of EVM based projects in, in the cosmos that uh, we, we're looking to onboard next. Uh huh. Yeah. So, okay, Ethereum virtual yeah. machine projects within the cosmos ecosystem. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which one could it be? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. An EVM project. Hmm. Anyway, let's say I've got some Evmos stake and I've got some <laughs> Atom state and some Juno state, and and then I get this airdrop. Mm-hmm. Because of that, and it's proportionate to how much I have staked, and then I can, I could just stake the stride, and then when mm-hmm. the reward payout comes out, I'll get that, and ongoing, ongoing. I could also use the stride to purchase Osmo or ST Osmo or something or ST Juno, because mm-hmm. because the thing about the Osmosis Dex is it's very very liquid, very mm-hmm. liquid, and I think stride yeah. has a lot of liquidity on it. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we've talked about the airdrops. We've talked about and how to qualify for the airdrops, which means you've got to have them staked in Kepler Wallet. And what, and just so people know, whenever whenever you're staking or delegating to a validator with any Cosmos project or Osmo project, right, whichever one it is, make sure you choose a validator outside the top 20 and choose a validator that is not an exchange. Okay, so don't validate to Binance or QCoin or whatever, and choose the smaller validators because generally that increases your chances of getting airdrops. Okay, so we've had the airdrops, the stride token. We talked about liquid staking and the application, how that works, and I have all the links. Is there anything else to cover about this project that we haven't covered that would be useful for people to know? Yeah, so... uh... In terms of kind of usefulness, I know there's a ton of kind of content that we put here and there's a lot of like, you know, liquid staking is so new. So if, you, if people are kind of interested in learning more, our Twitter is a good place to kind of lear, uh, learn a bit more. We put out articles about how liquid staking works. You can check out our website, stride.zone, join the Discord. There's a ton of people. I think we have like 30,000 members in the Discord who are really helpful and kind of understand the project as well. Um, so, so please call and everyone's more friendly and we can tell you a lot more about kind of stride and liquid staking and uh, how we kind of fit into the whole Cosmos ecosystem. Okay, okay. Now I have all the links, right? Now there's something else I want to ask you, right? This is I'm not asking you for financial advice, just so you're clear. None of this is financial advice. We're just trying to understand this project and what can we do with it. So if someone is new to this project, they've got a little bit of stride, mm-hmm. they've got a little bit of Osmo or Juno or whatever, right? What could they do that would um, be a good healthy balance between risk and reward? Yeah, it's a good question. So again, it's not financial advice. Really, everyone has their own risk preferences. But what I'm doing with my tokens is I have my stride. I'm putting that in the stride Osmo pool on Osmosis. Uh, you can also stake them, either one. But the stride Osmo pool is uh, paying out Osmo incentives right now. So I already have Osmo, naturally, and I also hold stride. So in that pool, I get, I think it's like 100% right now uh, yield from Osmosis incentives. So I can, you know, I get I get more and more Osmo as I do that. And then my I also have Adam and Osmo. And I put those at ST Atom and ST Osmo, so I kind of liquefied those. And I'm in the Statum Atom pool, like the ST Atom Atom pool on Osmosis and the ST Osmo Osmo pool. And both of those, in my mind, are kind of a, a, a good middle ground because I earn the staking reward from the Atom and the Osmo. And I'm also getting a bunch of stride per day. So I'm going to get a little bit more stride 
Uh, but again, you know, it really depends. Everyone has different preferences and what works for one person might not work for another, but, but that's, that's sure. what I'm doing. And, uh, yeah. yeah, and, and there's something in, in, in those projects, right, is that they're all pretty large, liquid, stable projects. You know, mm-hmm. like some of the much, much smaller projects on the osmosis decks, they may not have the liquidity. They might get attacked in some way. They may not be successful. They may turn out to be scams, especially if you're doing this on Frontier, right? That mm-hmm. the, There is that risk. Um, but with the ones you said, ST Atom and Atom Pool, I mean, Atom, mm-hmm. okay, Luna went somewhere, right? Luna did go yeah. somewhere, right? So it yeah, is possible. Yeah. But Atom is, you know, well, yeah. it's pretty stable, rock solid project, been around for a while, fingers crossed. And then, fingers crossed. So you got the Atom, ST Atom Pool, you got the yeah. Stosmo Osmo Pool. Yeah. The, the exactly. other one you said was the Stride Osmo. Stride Osmo. Yeah. Now, the exactly. Stride Osmo pays rewards in Osmo. In Osmo, yeah, exactly. And the others, you get the get the rewards in Stride. In Stride, yeah. And just for context, th- those two pools are actually pretty big. So Statum Adam is, I think, the fifth biggest pool in Osmosis. It has uh, right. something like $8 million liquidity right now. It used to be a little bit more, but the prices have gone down. And then uh, Osmo, Stasma Osmo, I think, has a little bit over $2 million in liquidity. So these are, you know, they're not, they're not that small. The Statum Adam is the top five pool in uh, all of yep. the Cosmos. Yep. Yeah, okay. So then you're accumulating more Stride accumulating more Osmo, which is always useful. Okay. And then you can do what you want with those rewards, put them in or whatever, right? Now you may want to, Michelle, what I would do and what I'm doing with some of my pools is um, use the Yield Moss app mm-hmm. to instruct, the re- to automate the rewards. So I don't mm-hmm. necessarily get them, but I'm compounding them much, much quicker. Yeah. So, yeah. So, then, so then even more rewards that way. And then yeah, what you can do is check with Dexmos app to see where the best interest rates are and where the size of the pools are and everything. Okay, that's very, very useful. Okay, Michelle, yeah. by the way, um, I looked through the articles and your website is beautifully designed, very, very informative, but you are much, much better than an article. I'll say that. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that, yeah. You're, you're welcome. That's for me as a social worker, okay? I'm, I'm qualified to say that. <laughs> right? I appreciate um, that, yeah. But no. Vishal may not be available to you personally, right, in this way, as he has been. But what you can do is join Telegram group and join the Discord group and reach out to the team because this is a project that's growing and growing and growing. I do have a better understanding of it. Anything else you want to say before we finish up? No, that's all. Thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. And I'm happy to be back whenever you want me. Happy to have you back. Happy to have you back. Please feel free to reach out to me. And if you have any comments or questions, let them know, let me know in the description below. You know, do you have Stride? Is this something that you're looking at? Have you started with, uh, you know, just start with a little bit of Osmo, maybe, maybe, and see how it works out. See how it works out and see what happens. And um, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out Stride. And between now and when I see you next, please keep filling your pockets with crypto profits. This is Crypto Rich and Crypto Vishal signing out. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.